Hey team, so we're in this set of problems involving phonemic awareness. And remember, phonemic awareness, just go back to that, that big diagram here. Phonemic awareness uh, is advanced phonological awareness. And phonemic awareness um, has different levels. We have the isolating phoneme level, the blending and segmenting level, the manipulation level of phonemes. Uh, but these all this all represents um, um, activities involving hearing individual sounds and words. Right, so this is advanced phonological awareness. Now we're gonna do a, some blending and segmenting uh, questions. So this one right here that we're doing right now, let me let me go back to it, is a blending and segmenting question. And uh, I have this picture here, and I thought I would start uh, at this picture here and talk about the importance of blending uh, phonemes orally. Uh, because this ability to do this in oral language is really going to help with future reading and writing and decode reading and writing activities. So I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, one time when my youngest daughter was, I think she was 18 months old, uh, she got stuck in, in, in the couch. She got stuck. And she was trying to say the word stuck. But she's only 18 months old and she's stuck in the couch. She got, she got stuck. She tried to get up out of the couch, yes? And she started to shout, stuck, I'm stuck. And I remember at the time she omitted the T and, and that becomes a very different word. Yes, would you agree? She wasn't orally, she wasn't including that T sound, yes? And so we had no clue on what she was saying because, uh, or where she learned that word because she was only 18 months old, right? Well, well, what was happening? Well, in her oral language, she wasn't she wasn't hearing and working with all the sounds in this blend, in this word stuck. Now she's 18 months old, so she's not even reading yet, right? She's only 18 months old. But but she at that time, okay, she wasn't able to uh, hear and blend the phonemes in the word stuck. She was getting stuck literally after the S. Now it's really important that she that as you build your oral language that you're able to blend phonemes like in the word stuck it has this blend stuck stuck yes do you agree and that ability to in oral language in oral speech to blend phonemes stuck I hear the t stuck or saying the word street you know it ha it's it has three distinct sounds in that blend and it's important that a child, when they when they say the word street, that they're able to blend all the sounds together. Now, being able to do that orally and being able to blend phonemes orally is going to help them later on. Let's jump ahead. Uh, now, uh, now my daughter is, you know, in kindergarten. Let's jump ahead now to when she comes across the word stuck in a text. Well, if she's able to blend the phonemes in the word stuck. St uh, stuck right and hear all those distinct sounds she's going to have a lot more success with the with the reading process do you hear what i'm saying so so here we have a picture of a cat let me clear this off a little bit now, this one's not that bad but a child's ability to blend the sounds in this word in oral speech at cat so that's segmenting and blending segmenting at blending cat their ability to do that in in uh, in oral speech, in, in spoke with uh, with uh, their oral language, when it comes time to decoding this word in an actual text, and they come across this C A T C V C word, well, hopefully, they'll be able to associate this grapheme with a sound, k, and this vowel grapheme with another sound, ah, and this one with another sound. T, and they'll be able to get cat when they actually pronounce it out because they'll have to take those three sounds cat, and blend them together. Cat. I mean, cat doesn't sound anything like cat. You have to blend them together. So it's really important that we work on blending and segmenting sounds in oral language so that a child hears all the sounds in a word, right? And that's going to help them later on when it comes time to the letter sound correspondence and the decoding process. All right.